Ramsey, 2-1. High fly ball, left center field. Jones on the run, still going back. It's carrying, it's out, and we've gone back to back to back. I'm Ariel Lagami with the MLB.com Fast Cast. An eight-run Tigers fourth highlighted by back-to-back-to-back homers and Miguel Cabrera's grand slam gave Justin Verlander more than enough run support for the win as the Tigers routed the Orioles 10-3. The Cardinals exploded for seven runs in the third inning and Shelby Miller struck out seven over seven innings of work as St. Louis took game one of a doubleheader against the Giants 8-0. And in the nightcap, Adam Wainwright tossed a complete game, surrendering just one run on eight hits while striking out ten. Cardinals seven, Giants one. Mike Napoli belted his fifth career grand slam, and the Red Sox also got home runs from Daniel Nava and Steven Drew to back Felix Dubron, who allowed just one run and fans six over six innings of work. The Red Sox beat up on the Yankees 11-1. to B.J. Upton getting mobbed. The biggest hit of the year for him. And the Braves win it. B.J. Upton hit a walk-off RBI single in the bottom of the 10th to give the Braves a 2-1 victory over the Nationals. And more bad news for Washington as Bryce Harper is placed on the 15-day disabled list retroactive to Monday with left knee bursitis and pitcher Steven Strasburg has been diagnosed with a strained right oblique after an MRI on Saturday. Ubaldo Jimenez held the race scoreless in eight innings of solid work and received run support from a pair of two-run shots by Jason Giambi and Azdrubal Cabrera as the Indians blanked the race 5-zip. Josh Reddick walked with the bases loaded in the bottom of the 10th as the A's took out the White Sox in extras 4-3. Right-hander Mike Leake fired six scoreless frames while Joey Votto and Brandon Phillips chipped in with RBI singles as the Reds blanked the Pirates for the second straight night. 2-0 was your final Saturday. Ryan Domit's walk-off two-run triple capped a three-run rally in the ninth as the Twins slipped past the Mariners 5-4. Chris Carter hit a seventh-inning two-run home run, and that was all the offense the Astros would need. Starter Bud Norris tossed six scoreless frames to earn his fifth win of the year, and the Astros took down the Angels 2-0 to earn their season-high fourth straight win. Filling in for scheduled starter Clayton Richard, left-hander Robbie Erland tossed six and two-thirds innings for the Padres. He gave up two earned runs and earned his first big league victory in his first career start. Luke Gregerson got the save in place of the injured Houston Street, and the Padres down the Blue Jays 4-3. to three. Paul Goldschmidt broke a 4-4 tie in the eighth inning at Wrigley Field with his first career regular season grand slam. The D-backs would score 11 runs in the final three innings to defeat Chicago 12-4. Rain delayed the start of this game by over two hours. Dexter Fowler delivers and the Rockies win it. Dexter Fowler snuck a walk-off single inside the first baseline to deliver a Rockies 7-6 win over the Dodgers in 10 innings. Carlos Gonzalez and Michael Kadire each hit two run home runs in the game. The Royals scored three runs in the top half of the 10th when David Lowe was hit by a pitch with the bases loaded and George Kataris followed with a two run double. The Royals take down the Rangers 4-1 in extras. Jose Fernandez scattered three hits over seven shutout frames while fanning eight. He even chipped in with two hits, an RBI, and a run scored as the Fish secured their second series win of the season, both of them against the Mets. Marlins eight, Mets one. And finally, Willie Peralta delivered seven strong frames, allowing just two runs and striking out six. Jonathan Lucroy hit his third homer in two games as the Brewers got past the Phillies four to three. For complete highlights from all the action on Saturday, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.